Mark Perenson, um the co-director of La Ultima Pelicula, when, um, after this film premiered in Berlin, he tweeted, what do we make of the best film in Berlin being recorded off a TV set from VHS in two days? Um, at, at, at what point did you, this is obviously in, in many ways seems like a, a risky project. Um, at what point did you realize that this was going to be a film, that this could be a film? Uh, I think when I edit, uh, because the story is like that, is, um, I saw like uh, five minutes, there is a TV show in Romania which is called The Replay, and they show uh, uh, movie, uh, f football games from, uh, or uh, they make portraits of, uh, of, of, uh, of uh, uh, footballers, uh, of the players. Uh, and uh, I saw like five minutes uh, of, uh, of this game and I remember that it was happening one year ago, I think. So um, I, uh, because the, uh, the producer of the show uh, came to me like uh, two months after and I, I remember about that, that game. Uh, and he came to me and uh, he asked me videotapes because they don't have in the Romanian television they don't have old games so usually they make the ar archive uh, asking uh, people or foot, uh, soccer players or referees to, to give the old VHS uh, in order to, to edit or to, to make their own th this show so this guy came to me asking asking me uh, videotapes from my father you know so I said okay I will uh, I will uh, I will give to you this and but I I want this that game you know that particular game and he gave me a DVD of this game and I wanted to make something uh, out of it but I didn't know how and uh, uh, I was uh, I, I was wanted to to make an interview with my father in Bucharest but he never had time because he's living in another city he's came from Bucharest to for his business but he stays like a few hours when an, and one year ago when I go home uh, went home for uh, Eastern I take this uh, uh, the DVD and we saw it together in, uh, home and uh, I uh, because home I uh, the DVD player that they have uh, my family it's one that uh, doesn't work I found another one in in my hometown, but he has just one button, which it was play. <laughs> uh, uh, and uh, when we start, uh, we start to record it. Uh, and um, I took like, when I went home, uh, initially in Bucharest, I wanted to make, I have a friend who has a small, le like a projection where us usually uh, I'm, I'm showing my movies to friends in a different step of editing. So he's like, a, mm, yeah, a, sm a small theater, let's say. So I wanted to, to show this game to my father in Bucharest there, you know, in this small thing, and maybe to, to have a camera to shoot, uh, to, to film us looking at the game. But home, I, I just took like a, like a, a reporter phone, like a microphone to, to and I, I s in the beginning I said, okay, I want just to, to speak with him about the game and maybe after I will do something else like uh, because I, I didn't want to sew by my own the, the game I wanted to see it with him and to to see how, how it will uh, go so I went home with this uh, uh, with this uh, rep reporter phone and uh, we start to looking at the game and uh, at one point I get into the game and I didn't I was looking at the reporter phone and it was finished, you know. So we saw it again and in two days we saw it like t three times the game. You know. So what we hear is a, a combination of recordings from from two days, three days? Yeah, from two days, yeah. Uh, the last part I think it's just one take, you know. I had the beginning it was like I had it like twice, you know. So at what point did you realize that that was going to be the film? I think after I, uh, yeah, um, after these two days, I, I felt... Just recording it, just com just yeah. having the conversation yeah. with your father. Yeah. Was there something that he said? Yeah, because after, if I, I think it's something that it's, uh, in the same time, uh, uh, it was very hard to return 
uh, to, to return and I think the I, I like a lot a few things and um, you know like the history of uh, Avantage and uh, uh, you won't make a movie out of this or it was there and the, and if I and it's a certain type of dialogue that we have um, I'm all the time I'm I have my opinion in refereeing he has his opinion in cinema so this is our style eh? <laughs> and <laughs> and uh, if I uh, I think it, it was the risk to become very, uh, to become something. Uh, now it's like a, I like it to keep it like that, like a discussion that it could maybe in half of a year, it, would, it was something else, you know, maybe. What did you tell your father before you started recording? No, I told, from the beginning, I, I, I have an idea with this game. I want to see it. Uh, I want that uh, we will see it together and uh, maybe I will make a movie out of it. So uh, I remember that we, because we we, we recorded all in the in the room, and uh, when, when he came, he said, "But where are the cameras?" You know, <laughs> because <laughs> she was think, uh, yeah, she was thinking that we will shoot uh, other materials, and after that, I will edit. I don't know what was in his mind, and yeah. Have you shown him the film? Yeah, he saw it. And. He told me that, that if I knew that it, it was, uh, I will, if I knew that it would became a movie, I would make more jokes. <laughs> um, can you say a bit about, you know, you said you asked for this particular game too. Can you say a little bit more about why this was the game that you wanted? I mean, there seemed to be several things, the visual aspect of it, the snow. Perhaps no, was the when I saw when I saw that five minutes, I remember about that game. It was very because usually after that fret on the floor, uh, in a way home, I was like a referee, you know. So uh, usually we were watching uh, he, these games uh, with my m mother and my brother, and uh, I was like a certain referee, you know, home. So they my mother never gets what is on offside, on, and they ask me because it was a big pressure in this type of games and uh, they asked me all the time, he, he was right, he, he did it right and I was, uh, I was also playing football. So it was something like very visceral, you know, when I saw the game, I, uh, I remember about, I don't remember other games, you know, I don't know, but this one, because I saw it on in front of a TV and I didn't get anything, you know, uh, because I didn't understand anything because of the snow. It was something in the beginning to clarify myself, I don't know, you know, it was like, uh, it was, uh, because usually my yeah I was playing football I was uh, uh, I know the rules of the game I was watching the game and uh, yeah it was a certain type of referee uh, we'll take some questions from the audience Is there any yes um, could you talk a little bit about um, how the, uh, if you had in the beginning the idea to introduce these sort of political concepts or that was coming from your father, like about the army and the secret police, um, also uh, uh, just this idea of refereeing or not, you know, in terms of like the Romanian society, I mean, were those yeah. things that were in your mind from the beginning or it evolved in the film? Yeah, no, it, in the beginning it was, I was thinking because the first question there in this way, in a way that I made, and it was more like an, yeah, I was thinking to be like a certain type of enquête, you know, and after that he's going and he he is going after my father, but he doesn't want, uh, but yeah, the first question I was thinking, uh, why did you start this game? Who is playing with who? Uh, that, that, uh, these three or four questions in the beginning, I was, uh, yeah, I was thinking at them, you know. But afterwards, I get into the game. That was very <laughs> weird for me too, you know. I start to look at the game, and when I said to him, uh, uh, but you let too much avantage, it's, it's something that I know from the game. And I know that a referee, if he wants to be sure uh, and doesn't have, he doesn't want to have problems on a game, he have to whistle all, you know. And to but, but if I could just do a quick follow-up question, is there the idea about letting the game sort of continue and not stopping it? I, I had a sense, although I don't know that Romanian society in detail, that there was a political layer to it too. So I guess my question is, how much you know, were you uh, thinking of those things in terms of your own filmmaking? 
uh, of course, I'm, uh, yeah, I'm thinking of, uh, if you, the, yeah, I have, uh, I have, uh, yeah, I think the intention in the beginning, or it was linked in a way with filmmaking. I had a, uh, I had a certain type of perception, you know, but I didn't knew that. That was for me the discussion. It was surprising for me too, you know. I, I know that I lose when I when I looked and I lose a line uh, uh, when I realized the first time that the, it was off the the uh, microphone because he told me uh, that uh, every before every game he was closing in uh, he was uh, uh, he was uh, in. Um, before the game, one night before the game, he was alone in the room and he studied every player and he doesn't want to, to see anybody, you know, just to prepare the game. And I know that, yeah, he has this uh, very, he's very passionate with that, you know. So, yeah, I, I also, I also, when I want, wanted to be, f uh, at one point he dreamed that I, I will be a football player. So uh, we made, uh, Every day he made training. Uh, he was training, and in the summer we go in the holidays for him to train. I don't know where, and so till uh, till 14 years old. After that, we we went with our colleagues from high school. So I know, uh, yeah, I, I was growing in this type of uh, uh, in a certain type of culture, you know. So uh, uh, I know him very well, and. Uh, as I told you, uh, at one point he dreamed that I could be a football player, and we made together. We made tra trainings every day, you know. So it was quite tough. Is this game uh, famous in its own right? In uh, in other words, if if you say to you know a Romanian on the street, uh, the '88 game between Stal and Dynamo, do they immediately know what that game is? No, no. No. Okay. No. All right. Uh, this is the no because no. You mentioned uh, the depends. Past depends. Finals. Yeah, it was. It, in passing. Yeah, I think it was the, the game before where they they stopped the game. <coughs> we we are speaking now. It was a game <coughs> before this one. I think that one, uh, <coughs> the fan, the football fans, they remember for sure. For this one, I don't know. Of I don't know. It's not. Uh, but it's the derby in Romania. You know. It, of it, course, it, right, right. How did your father come to be such a trusted referee, and what were his relations with the people in power in those days, the various factions of power? I think he was very, uh, he was very, uh, like he said, he was very good in this, and he was very, uh, uh, I think he was respected, you know, by the players, by the, in a way, and it was, he was a, yeah, he was a good referee. Has Romanian? I'll just repeat it in case he wasn't here. All the players go to teams in other countries. Has Romanian football declined uh, since the fall of Ceausescu? Uh, yeah, it, it's declined, but it's uh, it's uh, I think there are a lot of reasons, not not just because of the because they have in that I I think in that period they uh, they put a lot of in in the, in football also in sports. Because it's a, it was a way of promoting the image of this type of countries, like in gymnastics and all, and they were like, and it was linked maybe with a certain type of political, you know, like a, uh, it was maybe also like a, to create a certain type of human being, you know, like a, a sort of machines, you know. <laughs> and uh, but they spend a lot of money and time for. All sports, I think, but it's not. Uh, yeah.
yeah, of course he he was. Uh, at one point he 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 get into the game and he likes to see it again and uh, he, he he's living for in a way with this and for this. <laughs> he's uh, he's a very uh, yeah he's very passionate with that. It's a, it's a big passion. It's a passion of his life. Football. Yeah, but you know when you are, yeah, when you are referee, you look at other things, you know, maybe at the game and things, and you have another. St it's not like looking uh, like a fan of the team, you know. You are looking from other point, you know. You have another. Uh, if one of us w we were a fan of one of these teams, you you live in another way, you know. But it's not when you are, um, yeah, referee. You are more detached you know you and uh, maybe sometimes the game even now I'm looking at the games uh, myself I'm not a fan of a, of a team but I'm looking for some kind of I know sometimes I, I like a gesture a technical gesture or I'm not so interested in who, who is winning at the end maybe uh, maybe I want to see something which is beautiful or something that it's I don't know could be We have time for one final question, if there is one. Yes. Try to try to repeat or distill that. Um, I guess are you, were you asking about likening the position of a filmmaker to the position of a referee? Or is, that is that and whether that is possible? When you make a movie, make a movie. yeah, it's uh, it's possible. Yeah, I think <laughs> if you if you if you love all your characters, if you try to get a tr certain type of yeah, yeah the a spirit. You create, you inter, you create in your f in the beginning, <laughs> and after that, you, you try to, to follow. <laughs> yeah, in a way, th there is a Romanian writer, and uh, uh, which is called Caragiale, and uh, at one point, he uh, someone asks him, because he, all the time he told stories uh, and what he was writing to his friends, and s uh, at one point. He asked uh, one of his friends, "What, what, what you will do with that story?" And he said, "I don't know yet because I, I'm waiting the characters to 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 uh, to do the next step." You know, so sometimes in my movies I'm doing that. You know, I'm uh, I'm returning all the time on the first uh, on the on the uh, on the first act. This is my obsession on the movies that I made. And uh, I'm returning all the time, and when I'm when I'm feeling that the first act it's it has something, and uh, after that, sometimes, to be honest, I'm I'm waiting my characters too, and I wanted to follow them. Fred, that's all we have time for. But thank you all for coming, and Cornelio, thank, thank you, you for being here with us.